So, what is the best shotgun in Resident Evil 4 Remake? Now, I get this question a lot because in my videos I always tend to use the W870 starter shotgun that you get at the beginning of the game. Now, the reason why I use the WA-70 shotgun is because it deals the most damage and it is the most reliable weapon that you can have early on in the game. So let's start off by reviewing the W870 shotgun. It goes up to 10.1 maximum power, the ammo capacity goes up to 10, the reload speed goes up to 5, whatever that means, the rate of fire goes up to 0.85. The exclusive increases the power by 2 times, making this shotgun deal 20 plus damage per shot. Now what that means is if you land every single pellet on the enemy, it will take 20 damage. Now, let's compare the Riot Gun and the W870 together, fully upgraded and not upgraded. So, the only thing that the W870 shotgun actually has that's better than the Riot Gun is the damage itself. The Riot Gun itself is much better in everything except damage compared to the base shotgun. Now let's check out how the W870 shotgun performs against some enemies in professional difficulty. So let me once again say, there is no best shotgun, it's all down to preference and playstyle. For me, the WA70 shotgun is the best shotgun because I usually just go up close to the enemies and I pretty much get all up in their face and I just, you know, wanna be able to split them in half or, you know, kill them in one hit. So that's why the WA70 shotgun is perfect for me. Now let's check out the Riot Gun. The Riot Gun's exclusive increases the damage by 1.5 times. As you can see already here, the Riot Gun has a tighter spread, but it deals less damage. It also shoots much faster than the W870 shotgun, and it also has an incredible range, which is the only reason why you would want to use this weapon. This weapon is very devastating at taking out enemies from afar. If you're planning on not using a handgun or a sniper rifle, this weapon is wonderful for all playstyles. If you're someone who plays very cautiously, doesn't like going all up in enemies' faces, this is great. Or if you like me, like going all up in their face, getting very close to them, this also works out great. But you're trading in a lot of damage compared to the original W870 shotgun. In conclusion, I think this is overall the basic shotgun that everyone prefers. If I were to pick one in a professional run though, I will still go with the WA70 shotgun because usually during a professional run, you want to save up that money and invest more in other things. This weapon only becomes great when you fully upgrade it, in my personal experience. Let me know, of course, in the comments down below what you think about this. Now let's check out the Striker, which is the third shotgun. The Striker goes up to 16.2 maximum damage, the ammo capacity goes up to 24, reload speed goes up to 6, rate of fire 1.57. The exclusive increases the ammo capacity by 2 times, making this weapon a beast at holding ammo. That is it though, it's nothing special, it doesn't deal that much damage. Well, I guess it deals quite a bit of damage, 16.2 is quite a bit, but the highlight of this weapon is the rate of fire. The rate of fire makes this weapon an incredible damage dealer against bosses and uh, things alike. Now, the only downside to the striker is the spread. The spread of this weapon is honestly probably the only reason why I don't recommend using this weapon if you're going for a professional S plus run, unless you just want to destroy bosses with 
your shotgun or something but I, you know I, I don't i don't think there's any bosses that actually require a striker other than vertigo i actually did use the striker against the vertigo during my s plus no bonus weapons run so yeah so my final verdict on this weapon is i would probably put this on my number three so it will go w870 riot gun and then the striker only because of the spread if it had a tighter spread i think this weapon would be incredibly overpowered last but not least we have the skull shaker which is not part of the default set this is a dlc weapon and it is by far the worst shotgun in my opinion okay don't hate me but i really don't like this weapon don't get me wrong it is very enjoyable to to use it is pretty good you know it deals a lot of damage as as you know as a, as a shotgun should be but the biggest downside to this weapon is the ammo capacity you only are able to get this weapon up to six ammo capacity and that's when you fully max it out and that is a huge downside for a professional s plus run like sure you get a lot of damage but it's really just very very bad it's not something you should be investing in in my opinion the w870 is much better it holds holds more more ammo and it deals way more damage and it has more range than this weapon but if i were to compare these two weapons this is like the little brother of the w870 they're pretty much the same weapon except slightly different and if i were to pick one i would probably pick the w870 but the cool factor of a lever action shotgun definitely is a plus if you want to have fun and enjoy. This weapon is definitely viable and you can definitely get a plus with it. It's just going to make it a lot more difficult. And in my opinion, it's unnecessarily just super slow compared to the other weapons. But uh, yeah, so in conclusion, in my opinion, the best weapon, the best shotgun is the riot gun purely because it's an altogether good weapon for all playstyles. it is great at long range it is great at short range it has a really tight spread making it very easy to use but in terms of damage the w870 will always be better and my preference of choice so again if i were to pick a weapon i would go for the w870 but Keeping me out of the picture, I think the Ryo gun is the best weapon for just your average uh, shotgun use. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. But as always, consider subscribing, leave a like on this video if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.